Welcome to the fifth episode of my email marketing series. In this episode, I'll show you exactly how to go about writing your welcome email to people who just signed up for your email list. I'll also give you some tips and tricks to make sure your emails don't end up in the spam folder of your subscribers. If you're watching one of my videos for the first time, welcome to my channel. On this channel, you'll get the best tutorials, tips and tools you need to create your own successful online business. So consider subscribing for more videos just like this one. And I'll list all the tools and services that I'm talking about down below in the description so you can check them out at any point of this video. So there are a couple of things that you want to include in your welcome email. One, you want to thank them for signing up to your email list. By thanking them for signing up, you make it clear that they are now signed up for your follow-up emails and your email newsletter. This way they are not surprised when they see another email of you in their inbox. Number two, Tell them what they can expect from you. You want to make sure they know what kind of emails they can expect and in what form you'll be providing value to them. Number three, let them know where they can unsubscribe from your emails. This is very important. You don't want people on your email list who are not interested in the content that you will be providing. It just makes people not open your emails or even worse, labeling them as spam. If too many people do that, then email providers like Gmail or AOL will label your email address as spam and then all your emails will end up in the spam folder and not even your subscribers who are actually interested in your content will read your emails. So make sure to show them how to unsubscribe correctly to keep your email list clean. Next, tell them that they should add you to their contacts list and also pull your email into their main inbox folder in case it ended up in the spam folder. This will help future emails get into their inbox. You can also tell them to follow you on your social media accounts where you're really active, but that's really optional because you don't want to ask for too much in the first email. So it might be a good idea to share your social media in the second email or in the third email. And last but not least, give them the lead magnet you promised them for signing up for your email list. This is most likely the reason why they signed up for your email list in the first place and actually opened your email. What I do is I upload the ebook that I'm giving away into a Dropbox folder and then just share the link to that folder. What I also recommend that you do is add a picture of yourself or the logo of your brand at the end of each email because it builds trust and it also makes it easier for people to remember you. If you want to get the entire email that I'm currently sending out as a welcome email to my new subscribers, feel free to sign up for my email list. I'll leave a link to my landing page down below in the description. So let's now go and set up our welcome email in our email marketing software. The software that we're going to be using is GetResponse. If you don't already have an account with GetResponse, there's a link down in the description that you can use to sign up for a 30 day free trial. So sign up now if you haven't already and let's jump into my computer and get started. All right. So to set up our welcome email within GetResponse, uh, we go to back to our dashboard and then we can click on automation. Uh, once you're here, click on automation messages on the top. You can also do this with autoresponders, but I suggest you use automation messages because then you have a lot more possibilities later and because we're going to be setting up workflows, um, which is very nice. So um, just go on automation messages and then click on create draft. Now we have to choose a, a list that our uh, email should be linked to. And I'm going to choose the list that we have created before, which is get response tutorial one. And then we have to type in a message name. Uh, this message name uh, will not be seen by anybody but you. This is more so that you have the overview of uh, all your messages. So for me, if I have a sequence, I normally type in uh, this is the first email. So one and then um, what kind of email it is. So this would be the welcome email. And then the subject line um, is what they will see on their uh, email in their email inbox uh, before they open your email. And this is quite important because um, this kind of determines if they actually will open your email or not. It's not so much important for the welcome email because um, they will probably check their inbox anyway to find your email and open it because they're, they want to get whatever you're sending them or they just sign up for a reason uh, on your landing page. But um, for your further emails along the way, you kind of want to find a way to, to make it maybe a little bit clickbaity um, so that people actually want to click on it. 
Um, but don't go too much over the top because it really pisses people off when you just um, type in something crazy and then the email is very boring. So um, yeah, just kind of experiment a little bit with that. Um, it's kind of like on YouTube with the thumbnails. Uh, it's very important that the thumbnail looks good so that people actually click on your videos. It's the same with emails basically um, to kind of stand out. But um, for the welcome email, uh, we can just type in welcome. And if you're, for example, giving away an ebook like I am, um, say something like here's your ebook, dot, dot, dot. And if you want to stand out a little bit in the inbox, you can also add emojis to the subject. Um, and here's the emoji sign that you can click on and then choose any emoji here. So it kind of stands out with color and everything. When your subject is finished, uh, you can decide what email address you're sending your email from. So um, I'm sending is it from this email and you can also change the reply. Uh, so if they reply to your email, uh, which email address should receive that reply. Once that, that once that is set up, we can go to next step. And then just like with the landing pages, we have a lot of templates that you can choose from. Um, I'm not a very big fan of these templates because they just kind, kind of look like every other spam email that people get nowadays. So I try to make it as personal as possible and to just kind of look like a friend who's emailing them. And that's also um, a lot easier to not end up in a spam folder if you just use text instead of all of these different pictures and, and graphics and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from scratch. So click on start from scratch and then uh, just use the, the blank template done below here. All right, so now we're in our, um, where we can write our emails. And on the right side, just like with landing pages, you have different things you can just drag in. So um, I'm just gonna use text for now. So I'm gonna drag in a text block and um, you can basically just start typing. So um, for the welcome email, we would just say something like, hey, and also we can enter the name again that they've used to sign up on your landing page. So if they entered, hey, uh, if they entered like um, Simon, it would say, hey, Simon. And then you can say something like, thanks. Thank you for signing up for uh, my email newsletter or something along these lines. And um, give them whatever they, whatever the reason was they signed up for your, on your landing page, like if you, if you're giving away an ebook, you can uh, insert the download link for your ebook in this email. So to enter a link here, you can just type in click here to download your ebook. And then to make this uh, a clickable link, just highlight it and then go to, to the link um, icon here. And then you can type in the URL. So just to demonstrate it, I'll type in uh, Google, uh, but here you would type in the download link or the Dropbox link or whatever, um, where you have your uh, your lead magnet that you will send, be sending them. Cool, so now it is blue. Um, it is a hyperlink so people can click on it. And I tend to do it also um, bold. So it's it stands out a little bit and maybe even add something like this. All right, and um, I mostly, use the font Verdana because I think it looks nicest and I changed the, the font setting, the font size to 14. And what you also want to make sure is that you don't uh, just write like long paragraphs because that's really dangerous that your email will not be read because it just looks overwhelming. Um, just do a lot of uh, spaces in your email, kind of uh, spread it out a little bit to make it very easy to digest. And um, so uh, what I also do is I I kind of structure it by by um, highlighting some parts like like something like this. And then text goes on here and then you can highlight this by making it bold like this. And so, yeah, you have to experiment a little bit, but kind of structure it out like this. And um, 
once you've done um, writing your welcome email, what I also do is um, something like uh, talk soon, Simon, and you want to make sure everything is the right font like this. And then I also uh, insert a picture of myself uh, on in the end of the email, just so people kind of it's easier for them to remember me. And uh, also it kind of builds trust. So you can also choose a logo or something uh, from your uh, company. So if you just click on it, you can choose an image, you can upload something here. Um, I've already uploaded image of myself. So uh, I'm going to choose this one. And I'm going to make a little bit smaller. This is too big here. So kind of like this. And then uh, just the, the frame here like this. Yeah. So now you have a picture of yourself uh, on the bottom of your email, which it makes a little bit more personal. But yeah, you want to take some time to to write this email. Uh, you want to make it a little bit personal. You want to um, kind of tell them what they can expect. You could want to also tell them where they can unsubscribe, uh, that you can unsubscribe on the bottom of every email that you send them, um, just so you don't get people who don't want to see your emails because that will be bad um, for your email eventually because you're going to end up in the the spam folder. And another thing to um, to prevent from going into the spam folder is to go to uh, the bottom here and click on plain text. And then what you want to click on is uh, HTML to plain, which changes everything to just plain letters uh, compared to HTML. And then click on wrap long lines It also helps um, to not go into the spam folder. So every time you finish an email, go to plain text, go to HTML to plain and then wrap long lines and then you can close it. All right. So uh, once you've finished your email, uh, what I also do uh, with every email is I, I send a test message to myself. So if you click send test message, you can choose the email here that you want to send the message to just so you, get, uh, you see how the email is delivered, if the links work properly and everything like that. Um, because you're going to send that email out to every single subscriber that signs up for your email list and you want to make sure it's, it's, it's really good and the links are working and everything looks very good and stuff. So um, yeah, I would do this. And also you can check your spam score. Um, this is an estimate of how likely it is that your email will actually end up in the inbox. Um, so the higher your score is, the, the worse it actually is. So right now it is a uh, minus 0 0.099, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, as long as it's like zero or one, I think it's good. I once uh, had an email that uh, was two and it ended up in the spam folder. So I really try to keep it as low as possible. And you also have some indicators of what might, uh, of what is actually contributing to your higher spam score. So if it says something like too many pictures, then you can just delete some pictures in your email and then uh, the spam score should go down. But it's a good idea to just, uh, for example, send the email as a test message to your Gmail or your AOL email. So you see if this email provider um, categorizes your email as a spam before you actually send it out to your to your subscribers. And you, on the right side, you also have a, a phone here where you see how it looks like on, on a mobile phone. So once you have your welcome email set up, you just go to next step on the bottom. And now you see uh, in your automation messages, messages tab, we have set up our first email, which is our welcome email. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna set up our first workflow so that if somebody signs up to our email list, this email will be sent automatically and um, immediately to this person who just signed up. So we've now finished our welcome email. And what we have to do now is set up our automation workflow so that this email will be sent out automatically once somebody signs up for our email list. In the next episode, we're going to set out this automation so that everything runs on autopilot. What I'm going to show you is what makes email marketing really powerful. I'm going to show you how you can set up a system that will literally sell for you and make you money while you sleep. If you got something useful out of this video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd go down and give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more free training videos. And I look forward to seeing you in the final episode of my email marketing series.